My name's Jane Hall. I'm from the Centre for Research Excellence in the Finance and Economics of Primary Care. Around the world there's increasing interest in how to pay doctors and how to pay them so as to get the right outcomes in terms of health status, volume of services and quality of care. This is the area that we work in. One of our project streams involves looking at the incentives and the use of financial incentives in the Australian healthcare system. One of the interesting findings from that work is how much turnover there is in doctors' participation in various incentive schemes. From year to year, a lot of new doctors participate in these schemes, but a lot who have been participating drop out. What this tells us is that the impact of financial incentives is not stable and needs to be reviewed. We're looking at consumer experiences of healthcare and their general practitioner care. Our survey of patients uh, has particularly looked at bulk billing and the quality of care that's provided. What we found is no evidence that bulk billed visits are of lower quality or shorter than non-bulk billed visits. We're also looking at what explains healthcare costs and what impact this will have in the future with an ageing population. What we find is that even at older age groups, there's enormous variation in healthcare spending. A relatively small proportion of the population accounts for a very high proportion of healthcare costs. About 10% of the population uses 50 to 60% of healthcare, even at older ages. This tells us we need to explore more about what drives healthcare volumes and healthcare costs and not just blame it on ageing and chronic disease. The impact of our work, we use different sorts of strategies to disseminate our findings. Of course, journal articles, but also various pieces through our webinars, through uh, fact sheets, through opinions that are provided on our website. We also engage directly with key stakeholders in the area to make our research accessible but also to understand their concerns and their issues and use that in planning our research.